So what's up? It's your boy. I'll show you guys a little bit of my track here in a second. Let's just get into it. In order to use an EQ, and this doesn't matter, as long as you understand this, you can use any type of EQ, whether it be a graphic EQ or um, just uh, the normal EQ that comes with your thing if it doesn't look like this or, you know, one that's uh, more uh, robust looking than this one. But this is a really good EQ, actually. And excuse me if you, um, if you I, I just ate um it's really simple it's really simple so the highs are over here the lows are over here usually only a dog can hear this low so you can mess with this as you want these are called frequencies this whole thing is your voice lined up to a frequency what you're doing is either adding it by raising or taking out by lowering parts of your voice that's what an equalizer does and it can really clear up your vocals to make it to where it matches the frequency sort of of the beats wavelengths up here and you can sort of mess around with it but generally speaking what you want to do if your vocals sound too tinny like you're speaking through a telephone you want to lower this you typically want to lower the highs and this is still the highs right here this is the mid highs uh you can uh, raise this if you want to this will add more bass to your voice if you raise it so if your voice doesn't sound full enough just raise this and don't forget to subscribe check out my channel i play this game called dreams on my channel where you can create music games artwork animation music videos and all sorts of stuff and record vocals in it and then send it to this soundcloud like server to where you can share what your creations are it's only for the ps4 it's a ps4 exclusive and early access right now but uh yes you can create beats with it and, you, and it has this um this same kind of stuff all within the game as well as animation equipment all within the game and it's also going to have its own story uh, line to the creators of uh, little big planet media molecule created this game called dreams ps4 check it out it's all on my channel and a playlist and uh whatnot so let's get back to this so on this track i lowered and it's, you're, it's probably not going to be the same for every track the equalizer unless you're going for a specific type of sound but i typically lowered the muddiness so i took away some bass in my voice a little bit more bass in my voice added a little bit of highs in my voice and then lowered um the tinniness uh the the, the real highs in the voice but then on the other eq so i used two eqs if you could see it i think this right here is a digital eq um it's the same as this, but it's just a little bit more graphic. Uh, what I did with that one was I only raised one, and I think it was this right here. So that would be the mid. So I raised a second EQ uh, about up to here. And that uh, changed the bass and stuff for the whole thing, not just my vocals. And it made it sound more like this. Yeah. They call me Young Tex, yeah, you may have heard of me. My other rap names, Ye, Wayne, Nas, and Jay-Z, because they will learn from me. You can add your name to the list. If you want to dish, yeah, join the guest list. Everybody want to be a VIP when I spit. But I'm about to be the king of cheese in the pig. And the so as you can see, it sounds really, really, really authentic, really good. Um, so here's some techniques when, if, you're, if you're a rapper. You, nowadays you want your stuff to sound smooth the reason that sounds so smooth i threw in some auto-tune edited my voice a little bit with pitch proof and of course used this equalizer and a compressor alongside with it then i added the reverb to it g snap is the uh free uh type of auto-tune uh reverb right there and uh the compressor no i also used a delay which is pretty much a super reverb it's an echo and then I used a compressor right here, raise that up to about this height right here. And that's usually, uh, I usually don't go past, um, that should be around the 16 to 13 um, plus decibel. So, um, you know, I mean, it's pretty much uh, right here, 13.3. So just so you know, you can mess with all this other stuff over here. There might be a limiter in here somewhere. Uh, I know a lot of people like using limiters too, so. I don't know. I don't know. But that's usually what I do is I raise the gain. 
or the compressor makes everything even. And then if there's a thing like this for your DAW, and this is a free DAW right here, check out Cakewalk, it's free. You can check out my tutorial on how to download it if you need to. And you can mess with the envelopes to lower uh, things that maybe the compressor didn't catch or heighten things the compressor didn't catch, you know what I'm saying, um, to make it um, more smooth. That's really what you're going for. So, just in case all that didn't make sense what I said about the EQ, let's go ahead and jump back into the EQ. Um, these are the lows, this is the highs, mid highs, mediums, and then the lows, and then you typically can't hear these. You wanna lower it to take away from your voice, you wanna heighten it to add to your voice. That'll officially also make your that part of your voice louder. It'll make that part of your voice louder, so the mids of my voice will be louder if I raise this. The um, mid highs will be louder if I raise it. If I take away, if you take away all of it, then it won't be there. That's pretty much what it's doing. It takes away, adds to certain ports, certain parts of your voice that you have. And these are the highs. Lower this if your voice uh, sounds like it's in a telephone. That's pretty much it. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out my channel playlist for more tutorials. And um, check out my tutorials for Dreams Music. Dreams PS4.